We like to do stories on Living St. Louis about St. Louisans who have gone on and made it big. And we have a couple of those tonight. One about a writer who's made a big splash on the East Coast and somebody else who has made a big splash in Hollywood. Not in the movies, though. On the runway. There was all the backstage activity you would expect just before the start of a fashion show. In this case, it was the Forbidden Fashion Show in downtown St. Louis in August of 2007. Runway models were getting the finishing touches on their makeup and hair. You okay? <laughs> I like that. But yeah. most important were the finishing touches on the designer originals. There, there is a tiny, and I try to, I try to repair this a little bit. That's fashion designer Tiffany Alana. She's based in Los Angeles, but was raised in suburban St. Louis. Alana, who's made a big splash on the West Coast and beyond, came home to show off her latest collection. The design bug bit Alana early in life but her first models walked on four legs. I would always make dog clothes. We had this big box of like rags and like just old, when you know a shirt gets torn, we'd throw it in there and I'd always be cutting it up and sewing and trying it on the dogs. And you know, we had poodles, so we, I'd make little outfits for them and make them run around. <laughs> oh, I'm sure cute. they loved it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but I'm sure they knew they looked good. Right, yeah, they did, then they did. <laughs> Back then, she was known by her full name, Tiffany Alana Wolf. In those days of canine couture, a career clothing people never crossed her mind. But thanks to her mother, Tiffany was always dressed impeccably. And that sense of style stuck as the child blossomed into a young woman. By the time Tiffany was an upperclassman at Lindbergh High School, class of 98 to be exact, her career aspirations began to take shape. She gives much of the credit to her fashion design teacher. She was very free about letting, letting the class, like, uh, accepting all different ideas of what is fashion and what is, what is good. And she didn't ever try to put you, know, a, a, put you in a box. And she just was very, I just liked her mentality and her way of thinking. She just was very open and, and accepted all different kinds of ideas and, and really let you truly be creative. She definitely had a passion. That you know, teacher, for, now for retired, for, is Marilyn Guy. Where the majority, I would think, of my students were more interested in what clothes were appropriate to their age group. And they were interested in what was in this year and, and how to fit that into their wardrobe. She was a little more far-reaching, a little more visionary. After graduating from Lindbergh, Tiffany headed to Long Beach, California, where she studied fashion design at Brooks College. After Brooks, she moved to nearby Los Angeles and worked a variety of odd jobs to support herself while selling one-of-a-kind designs on consignment to a handful of boutiques. It wasn't long before Tiffany Alana Creations caught the eye of a high-profile customer, actress Jennifer Lopez. It was in Us Weekly, and actually my mom was out visiting, and there was a picture of Jennifer wearing the skirt, and it said Jennifer Lopez in a Tiffany Alana one-of-a-kind. And that right there, I was like, wow, that was huge. And from that point, the skirt, I mean, I couldn't keep them in stock. The skirt that launched the young designer has wide diagonal stripes, a handkerchief hemline, and an easy, flattering drape. But other garments, many skirts, dresses, jackets, and wrap tops among them have also drawn praise and sales. Tiffany Alana designs are in the closets of a number of other fashion-minded celebrities, Paris Hilton and Jessica Simpson among them. I had to throw a stripe in. I had to. From <laughs> At the Washington Avenue boutique, The Time, one of more than 200 shops and department stores that carry the Tiffany Alana line, we talked about the growing popularity of her clothes, her work ethic, and her approach to design. Do you really put a premium on comfort when you design? I think that's, I think that's a very important thing to have. Uh, and, you know, to be able to want to go all day and night in an outfit, I mean, I, I definitely own a lot of different, different clothing. And, and it, that's the worst thing, to have something on and be in an event and, and just think, I cannot wait to get home and take it off. It's terrible. So, you know, and that's a very important thing for me, too. I want people to not only look, look good in it and, and feel sexy, but 
but to feel good in it and feel like it's comfortable and it's wearable. The owner of The Time, Jennifer Gray, is an enthusiastic promoter of St. Louis as a regional fashion center. She's excited about the heavy customer traffic since relocating her shop from Maplewood to downtown St. Louis. And she's thrilled about Tiffany's rising star. So we're hoping to take Tiffany to the next level as far as St. Louis and bring her back to her roots um, and really in a big way. That fits right in with Tiffany's plans to one day become a household name and to get the kind of national and international attention enjoyed by the man on the right, fellow St. Louis native Nick Boreas. But for now, she couldn't be happier. I wake up every single day and I'm so excited to design. It's, so, it's such a wonderful feeling.